Hey, welcome everybody. This video, we are going to be creating our first stored procedure. If you want to get the exact setup here, you can go back to our last on-screen video and in the description there will be a link that will take you right to this point. Now we're going to be continuing our work on our, uh, we'll just say this is a pet dating site. <laughs> because that's not weird at all. So the very first thing I want to do is add a new row into our table. So I'm going to add a comma there instead of a semicolon and just enter some new data. We'll give it an ID of three. I'm going to introduce you guys to a pretty cool function here, which is now. That'll just give us the current date. So that'll work perfectly in this situation. And then for this, I'm just going to put null to say that this horse is still alive. And now the semicolon is going to need to go here. In the last few videos, I talked about the delimiter keyword, where you say delimiter and then you can say slash slash, for example. And what that'll do is change the delimiter so anything within the stored procedure gets sent to the server rather than being interpreted. Well, it works a little bit differently for SQL Fiddle. In SQL Fiddle, there's this little box down here, which by default, it's on semicolon, but I changed it. And you're going to want to change it to something else. And I'm pretty sure the way this works is that whenever it comes across a stored procedure, it'll automatically just interpret it that way. So we don't need to say delimiter here. All we need to do is say create procedure. And we'll just say pets underscore female. And what this is going to do is get all female pets. And the reason I kind of name it backwards rather than female pets is because when you have a bunch of procedures, it's probably easier to see them alphabetically by the object. So we know right from reading this that this is working on pets, the pets table specifically. So after this, we just say begin. And then when we're done, we can say end and put our new delimiter. So you can see how this is a little bit different than the MySQL client because with the MySQL client, we would have to go up here and say delimiter slash slash and then down here we would say delimiter semicolon but that's not going to work in SQL fiddle and I think PHP my admin as well so all of our procedure code goes in here and I'm just gonna press tab just so it's clear where the code actually begins and we're just going to select everything from the pets table and we'll use a where clause to say sex equals Let's build our schema and see if everything works. There we go. Now to call it, all I have to do is say call pets underscore female. And the semicolon actually is not needed when you only have one statement over here. So let's run it and see what happens. Snowflake and princess are returned, which is exactly what we wanted because those are the only ones where they are female. So all you male pets out there, if you're looking for a hot lady, this is the procedure that you're going to want. <laughs> Let's create another procedure, and in this situation, we're going to show how we can use variables and execute multiple statements within one procedure. So that should be capital. This is going to be pets female with birth date. And this is more just to show you that you can run multiple statements within one procedure. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a variable and we'll just name it birth date and we'll set that equal to a string of 2015 0328 and then we're going to say select everything from pets where sex is female and birth is equal to birth date then we can end that procedure Let's build it. Boom, it works, no errors. So it seems to be working, and you wanna look down here at the second result table. It returned back Snowflake, which is in fact the row that we did wanna return, because that is the one with the birth date that we specified. And this might show you just how useful parameters could be. In this situation, we are hard coding the date in here. Wouldn't it be cool if we could just over here say 2015-03-28 and then it would return all of the females with that birth date? 
that would be a lot more useful. But we'll be talking about parameters pretty soon. But just for now, understand that this is not the best way to structure our procedures. And we'll get into that more as we go on. So thanks guys. Uh, I will clean up this code a little bit and then I'll put the new URL in the description for you guys to get. So if you're having any issues, just go to that URL and it should be working fine. Thanks guys and I'll see you in the next video.